YouTube, GamerKid1989 here, back with part four of the Project Car on Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. All right, here we go. So, um, we are at suspension. I think we'll, I think we'll just knock everything out this episode. What the heck? We'll get it done today. Um. I still haven't found out, well, anyway, we received a comment about what color to paint the car. So I think we are going to go actually with a similar color to this to, um, when I look at this car, I think of uh, Richard Petty. So let's paint it Richard Petty. Probably won't go into decals, we'll just paint it blue and call it good. So first off, let's do the front end here. I'll show you kind of how I uh, how I work on these cars when I'm doing the front ends. Suspension anyway. Oops. Sorry, my mouse is a little bit uh, sensitive today. Must have changed some DPI settings. So I just kind of work at it uh, from the outside in. I'll have to pull this out. And we'll kind of do the same thing. Uh, we'll take all this, pretty much all the front end stuff off, and then we'll take it to the repair bench to see uh, what can be repaired. Oops. My bad. Hit the wrong key there. Sorry about that. All right, so now we'll just, like I said, we'll just kind of clean everything up a little bit. Get everything on this side. Then we'll just pop over here. Pull the lugs off. And look at those rotors. That's one thing that, that kind of disappoints me about the game is the uh, the rust on some of the parts seems overly excessive, and some of it seems uh, like not enough like you can't really tell the percentage by the rust um, now I'm not sure how many of you um, I guess uh, I kind of got started with these kind of games with the old uh, gearhead garage and of course on that one it wasn't really they didn't have rust um, it was just either a dark gray or a light gray, so the dark gray would be um, if the parts in bad condition. Light gray would be, uh, you know, caution or uh, you know, okay condition, but still not great. And uh, if it was completely good, it would be painted. So there wasn't really much as in rust, um, but still, I guess in a sense, it was still pretty cool. Um, that's kind of how I got. When I seen these games, I really got excited because the, um, you know, there hadn't been a game like that for a while, um, and when the, uh, I believe it was Windows 7, I thought it would work with XP, but I think when Windows 7 came out, I tried very, very hard to get that game to work, um, and it never seemed to be successful. Um, so we ended up just not playing it. Um, so, you know, things like that happen. Um, but now we got this, so we don't have to worry. So, I think when I'm in here, I'm just going to buy outers because I believe both of those you can't fix. Now, there is some mods um, I would like to try, but um, it, it would take a way... Uh, way long time, or I should say longer time than this series took, where you can actually, um, to a certain point, you would be able to repair all the parts um, at a certain percentage. So you would essentially do a part hunt. So you would not buy any parts at all, and you would have to go to the junkyards um, and buy. Um, particular parts that you would want, which I, I love the idea. Um, 
I just think it would be a very long series, you know, and down the road we can certainly think about it. Um, and if you guys want to see something, something else, something different, like I said, we're wrapping up this series hopefully with this episode, uh, barring any crazy, um, uh, we don't want to join, any crazy things that happen. Uh, I'm assuming everything was going to go just fine. Um, but just wondering what you guys would like to see next. You know, there's, uh, you know, there's a lot of things we can do in this game. Um, uh, doesn't necessarily have to be this game. I do have, uh, quite a large, uh, Steam inventory. So, um, anything you guys want to see me play, uh, you can request if I have it. Um, awesome. If I don't, I can try to get it. You know, it's just, you know, one of those things. So, um, it looks like we'll have to get all our suspension parts and if I can remember which ones these are I'll be in good shape uh, let's see. well I might need to okay so we need double wish full wishbone so it's this top one here one to two actually two of those Two of those, and I think now we can put it together. Oh, this is front shock absorber. Man, look at that one's plus five. Got another one of those plus five parts. Yeah, so I certainly don't mind doing these videos. Um, actually, kind of enjoy them. They can get a bit boring. That's why I kind of like to have a purpose. Um, I did do some live streaming a while back with me just doing repair jobs, and that kind of seemed to get a little bit boring for the viewers, so um, I didn't do that anymore. Uh, but if it's something you guys want to see, we can do a you know repair day or you know anything you guys want. So just let me know, comment down below. We'll see what we can do. So we have our front end link B. We'll need two of those. Like we're not quite ready to, you know, we're getting close to level up. We're still actually quite a bit of ways. Look at these nice new shiny parts. If I have to get some brakes, yep. I believe the uh. The brakes, I think all the brake parts except for the cylinders inside. I think uh, the calipers may, you know, the calipers I believe they can be repaired. I'm not sure about these. So we'll have to look there and see if that's something we can, if that's something that got repaired or not. Yep, so it looks like that's, that can be repaired. Okay, we got the bearing. Obviously, bearings I always um, kind of see as not being able to be repaired because it's a you know a part that can you know that carries wear. So it, I guess, really in my thought, anything that would carry wear um, would be something that you would have to uh, replace and not repair. So some of those things, like I said, I'm on and off uh, with so many games. It's kind of hard for me to keep track on what parts are repairable and which ones aren't, so that's why I just kind of go through here. Um, and, you know, like I said, I kind of do it this kind of uh, this way where I work from one side to the other side. And then I'll come back through. And so it looks like we need uh, pipe. So we need two there. We need four on the body, so we would need six. Rubber bushings, you always need those things. I used to <laughs> usually buy them at like 20 at a time because you just never know. I really need to go through my inventory and get rid of all the stuff that's not repairable, but it's still like high enough. Um, I think anything that's over 50, I usually just scrap. And for whatever reason, I'm keeping some of the uh, other stuff that's above 50 but still not repairable. 
All right, so we're coming along here with this front suspension. Uh, we'll have to kind of see what we want to do for tires and wheels. I'm not quite sure yet. So, so we need rim retro 7B. So these were 215.75 R14s. 215.75 R14. 75. Oh, 245.75 R14. Uh, I'll forget that by the time I get in here. Vintage. We'll do the white walls. We'll do... Uh, 14. Uh, what were they? I forgot already. Oops. The wrong button again. Alright, so... I should probably write this down. I got a terrible memory. 215, 75, R14. 215, 75, R14. Let me get a pen here. Alright. 215, 75, R14. Okay. Sorry about that. So, um, you know, I think we might be able to repair the rims, actually, now that I think about it. So we'll separate these. Buy the tires while we're waiting because I believe the tires aren't separatable. 215, 75, we need two. Okay, so we got those. While I'm doing this, we'll hurry up and run over here quick. Okay, we got that. Good. Run back over, it'll be done. Move, install. These were 14s. Man, I got a lot of rooms in here. A little balance. Come on. Alright, put this on. We'll balance that. And while that's balancing, we'll go throw it on the front. Uh-oh. Why can't we mount this? What are we missing? Oh. Probably hit mount. Looking good. Like I said, we're going to try to keep this one as stock as we can. So we'll just put the stock... Uh, well, I think they're stock wheels. Okay. All right, front end's looking good. Now we're off to do the back. forgot to put the bushings in the front, now that I think about it. So before I forget, I'll get this side tore down, and we'll run over there quick and grab those. Oh, we forgot the plate on the bottom. Alright. Fuel pump, fuel tank. Okay, then we'll run up here to the front. We've got the ones here on the body mounts. Alrighty. Those are in. Now I can go over here to the other side. 
I do the suspension too, so I would throw the exhaust like that. I always hate doing suspension work for jobs. I usually stick with, um, I guess kind of how I let that level up quick. Uh, not real quick, I think I'm about 52 hours. Not necessarily in this one save. Um, I think I've lost a couple times. Um, I usually just go for uh, transmission jobs, body panels, brakes. Um, usually the easy ones. Transmissions are really good because you get a lot of money because the parts are expensive. Um, engines, there's just so much that you, you know that could be wrong. You could have one job that comes in and there's one piston that's bad, and you have to tear, you know, tear everything all the way down. It just gets, uh, you know, it's not worth the money. You know, you get a lot of XP because you're constantly tearing parts apart. Um, but for uh, you know, fun, it's not very fun, it just gets really repetitive, and it's kind of boring. Well, I just noticed we didn't have the, uh, the front pipes on here. Huh, that's interesting. Oh yeah, we took those off because we had to pull the engine off. Alright, so we'll go over here, we'll see what we can repair. Alright, I would take my time on this, but it, there's so many parts that I'm not sure if it'll be worth it or not. Alright, so let's see, let's just go ahead and start here. Hopefully the rear end we got new, yes, yes. If I remember right, most of the rear end is uh, repairable. I don't know how the brake shoes are repairable. I mean, I guess you could reshoe them, but uh, generally that's not something that's done. But whatever, it's the game, so. So we'll need two of those. Usually, if, you know, of course, if I don't have one for this side, I'm not going to have one for the other side. Okay. So I'll we'll go over here. We'll get the, uh, the other pieces of the suspension on after outsides on. Alright. Okay. Now uh, we can start working on these rear shock absorber B. Rear shock absorber B. Leave spring. We need these small rubber bushings. We should have a few of those. I don't think those are repairable, but the uh, like fuel tank. Some of these are kind of a long shot to get pinpointed right away, so you kind of have to. Try to go a little bit different way. Okay. Alright, I think this side is pretty well done. Oops, got the wrong side. Look at that view. Jeez. Mufflers, fuel tank, fuel tank, and fuel pump. Fuel tank, fuel pump. Oh, I haven't seen these. These must be uh, for a different car, because I don't believe I've seen those before. Right there. 
<laughs> well, I guess we didn't need that. All right, rear muffler. What was that? Rear muffler V8 overhead valve. Rear muffler V8 overhead valve. Where do these? We probably need two middles. Um, not sure about those. Middles. Front exhaust, feet over the valve. Two of these. Only two more. Oh, these are A's. I didn't see the A at the end. Wasting money. Oh, we'll make it all back. Okay, so now... V over and down. Front exhaust section. thought they were D's. Yep. Alright. So, if I'm thinking right, all we have left to do is the tires, we'll put the drive shaft back in, spin around, spin the tires here, what size, they should be I think the same, 255-70R14, so 255. Okay, 75 R14, 70 R14, 70, 255, 14. All right, so we'll kind of make tire, we'll go vintage, 2, 14, 255, 70. Okay, so we'll unmount that. We'll separate, repair. Tire. Man, it's working F one. I'm waiting on you. All right. Sometimes I get ahead of myself a little bit. All right, so let's lower this down. I don't like working on the body stuff over here, so I'll move to entrance one. So if we look, I think all this body parts, um, was there anything that was in bad condition? Okay, this is obviously... Remember about the body is it takes a little bit to get everything right. So 
so we'll just pull everything off. Okay, what am I missing here? Front window. No headlights. Alright, I think that's... Okay, we got the body window. Uh, I think that's everything. So now we'll just front right door. So this is what I usually do here. So I'll go temp this magnum flat face proto. So I think if you just go body shop tempest. Right, so we'll go front right door. Front right door window. Right side mirror. Hope oh, we don't have a mirror. That way I'll just leave that, that body panel up. Front right fender, we don't have anything that's good. Good. Again, nothing looks good. Front left is almost good, but not quite. I think there's at some point you can do the uh, fixing body panels. I think it's like 35 maybe. Just not quite there yet, so. We have to do it the long way. That's okay. Okay, so we'll do front left door window. I don't. F I don't find it too. You know, too long doing this it doesn't bother me. There's not a whole lot of parts. Ooh, there's 99. Not quite. You could have probably almost bought every single part and then just put it on. But we got lucky with one, so we saved a little bit of money. Okay. Left body window A. Rear window. Oop, that's the front. And we'll just buy a trunk light one here. And a rear bumper. And tail lights. Just because why not? Don't forget about the license plates. That murder will always get me. Always get me. Alright, so I'm just going to buy California. Alright. There. Alright, now what's our... Oh, we're forgetting something. What are we missing? Um... Hmm... Well, this isn't good. I'm forgetting something. Aha! The one that got away. Okay, uh... Right body went away. Now we should be at 100%. Yeah, we're 100%, 100%. And let's pull the vacuum over. Where is my vacuum? Thought it was over here. Yep, that's right here. Move that over to A. We'll use it. Yes. Clean that interior. And we got 100% across the board. So she's worth $62,380. We get a restoration bonus of $12,476. We got one thing left to do. Let's go paint this thing. Alrighty. Alright. 
So I think we decided we're gonna go like Richard Petty Blue. We do a livery. Yeah, we'll just do this. Um, we'll do maybe just Matt. I think that's uh, pretty close. Now watch me get this color right. Okay, where's the blue? Saturated, but we want really bright. All right, how does that look? I can't rotate. That looks pretty close. I wish I could. Uh, I don't think I can paint those stripes, so I don't want to do the livery because the red stripes look goofy. All right, or paint this thing. That was loud. Jeez. All right, and then we'll send her back. And like I said, we'll wrap this up, part four, the end of the video. We'll take a cool picture. Um, I thought I could take a picture here. Maybe not. Man, I thought you could take a picture. Well... A picture on my Steam, why not? Well, uh, all right, here we go. We'll send this off to the lot. We'll keep it. Well, let's take it to the dino. What the heck? Dino is over here. We'll see what we're pushing out for power. All right. All righty, there we have it. Flat nose. You're going to the parking lot. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Like I said, go ahead and leave a comment what you want to see next. And we will catch you all next video. Thanks for watching.